Hey friends, I'm going to show you a little uh, test here. I got this solenoid and actually my other screen already shut off here. And I'm working on this Polaris. Getting it going. Anyway, this solenoid looks pretty clean and nice now, but this is what it did look like. So let me get a little closer there. And I took the vapor hone, honing machine, the vapor honing machine, and blasted up just externally. Just cleaned it off, gave it kind of what you call a quick dusting. I actually broke two of the bolts off uh, that mount it to the battery box. I mean, this thing was severely rusted. And I this was a non-funking. I could hear it click. We were getting that audible click, but I was getting no voltage to the starters. I mean, zero, okay? So one thing we know, seeing you know something like this being all rusty, when we have a single wire solenoid coil like this, that means the mounting bracket is the ground, okay? And let's look at this on the vehicle here real quick. It's worth it. You can see how rusted this is, but there, there actually is, believe it or not, perfect continuity between that mount right there and the negative ground cable. So it, it had the continuity, but I'm telling you that, solenoid was so rusty that I thought at a minimum I just need to clean it but since this was clicking that means that this had to been getting a ground maybe just not a good ground or whatnot but it had a good firm click I totally expected to see that uh, see some voltage I here had nothing so I'm going to show you real quickly I got a battery it's starting to drain down from my testing here I'll go ahead and uh, hook up on the battery you can see there 12.3 volts it's the battery itself, and I'm going to measure the voltage across these terminals once I energize the coil. But let me show you my setup here so you know what I got going on. So out of the battery, we got a ground cable going up to the bracket itself. I could actually just go right to the vise. I could go anywhere just to simulate, simulate like it is on the ATV. And then this is just the ground of my meter, so I can get a meter reading. And... Then I have a 12 volt jumper. This would be like your battery cable going to one terminal on the solenoid. Makes sense? And this little guy is the one that gets the power, the low amperage power from your starter switch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate from this battery cable, we're gonna put 12 volts to this and we'll get that audible click. Right away though, I've got something wrong. This terminal, Okay, this is the one we're, we're trying to make contact here in the solenoid. This terminal has battery voltage at it. That should be zero. And a matter of fact, before I cleaned it, it was zero. So check this out though. I'm gonna go ahead and energize it. And you're gonna see I've got 11.6 volts. Now you think that might be a big volt drop. Well, if I go across and actually Test the other side, 11.68, and if I go back and test the battery, now that's being loaded, I have no volt drop. That's fantastic. Okay, I can even test here, this the solenoid there. I got a tenth of a volt, a volt drop on this little coil for the low amperage side. So let's summarize this here. The problem that we have, you can see I've taken off that load, and I have battery voltage there, it should be zero. Inside of here, it's somehow still getting power across these contacts, and that is something that could drain down the battery. Now, if we look at where this is bolted, it's probably not gonna find a ground path because you got the starter cable here out that other side, goes here to the starter, and if I do a continuity check from the stud to ground, there's no path, so there's nowhere for it to go. But that should be zero. So it's it's just going to fail. We already know. As a matter of fact, what you guys aren't seeing, when I first did this test, at, right after I cleaned it, I actually had three, I started out six volts. So in the process of it just sitting here and me literally, you know, verifying this test and doing this, you know, quite a few times, trying to basically make contact on there this atv has been sitting for a really long time i don't know uh, two three years so we've got a lot of corrosion and and whatnot that's going on and that corrosion happens inside these electrical parts as well there's no point in me giving this back to the customer and then having it fell on them i need that to be zero there's still some corrosion in there going on 
and like I said it started at six volts I so wish I would have had the camera on for you guys and then it dropped to three for a little bit and then uh, right now it's sticking around it's dropping a little more it was sticking around five or 55 half a volt still not right anyway there's another little uh, tip from how to wrench uh, com, and I hope you guys are having a great 4th of July. I'm actually screwing around trying to get this back to someone here, but uh, having some fun at the same time. So as always, keep wrenching, make it a great 4th uh, of July, and we'll talk to you again soon.